Welcome to episode number 35 of Cubby Blue for Life's Let's Play series Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we ended up having to attack Braithwaite Manor. They took Jack. You don't take a kid. Plain and simple. Uh, burn the house down. Pretty much. But when we left, it was pretty much burned down. Um, or burning down. So... Um, there's that. Uh, we ended up having to move camp. So we moved camp from all the way over here. Over here to Shady Bell. Um, so that's our new camp for the time being. And we ended up over at in St. Denis. We have to go talk around to some people. So let's go all the way over to uh, the saloon, which is where Dutch suggested we start talking and see what information we can find out about Jack. That would have been the perfect one to, uh, to jump, but uh, it's going to St. Denis. Now if it was kind of leaving St. Denis, it would work even better. I did buy a new horse after we got off it last time. Um, definitely a lot faster, nicer. Really enjoying this horse. Um, but we're gonna head back to St. Denis and uh, start talking around and asking about Jack and trying to get information. Yeah, see, I was able to get all, pretty much all the way into town from, from that location. Um, without having to slow down or anything to rest. I mean, I barely used any stamina. I'm not even, yeah, I'm not even halfway through. Seriously? Why about Bronte? I'm looking for a man called Bronte. Have you heard of him? Don't know who you're talking about. Okay, never mind. Hey, friend, I I'm new in town. Supposed to be meeting a man called Angelo Bronte. Any idea where I might find him? Not in here, that's for sure. If he wants to drink anywhere, it would be the, the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Appreciate it. Just watch yourself. He's got quite the reputation. Go ask the piano guy. I wasn't going to ask you anymore. Well, I'd like to be alone with you 
honey. You looking for some fun, honey? Sorry, not where I want to be. I'm stay. Look out now. Thank you. So I went into the, the one place that actually gave me the information I needed right away. And I didn't know that either. So it just worked out. Let's hitch the horse. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Let's go in, see what happens. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Lamorn for you. America's over here. Little French secret. <laughs> that's, that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's going to happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> hey, can I get a drink here? The rest of the states, they lucky to have one. No, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. <sighs> okay. Here, have one for yourself. Why, thank you. Mister, can I ask you a question? Have you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so sick. Why are you a cocksucker? You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. <laughs> Go find these people. Come on now, this salting doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not <coughs> nauseous, you're nauseous. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Uh, oop, what did I see over here? Uh, 
All right, let's head to the other. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, hey, you got a cigarette, Mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell him. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York. I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little bit of shit. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. I'll tell you, you thieving bastard. Of course, this little. I knew that was gonna happen. Come on. Come on, let's go get him. This is your last warning, boy. You'll be fine. Search the market for the kid. Stuff. 
talking, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He's been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Damn kids. Come on. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Okay, where's Dutch? Pardon me. Stop, you stupid horse! How's it going, Dutch? Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. <laughs> but I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. What well, now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. All right, let's go pay this man a visit. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, far from real open country. All right. Come on, give me, give me the map. Let's go. We got Dutch Vanderland over there. Mary Beth back at camp. And Leopold Schoss, which is probably more money le yeah, lending in other sins. Let's go talk with Dutch, because I'm not going all the way back to... I'm not going all the way back to camp, but we're going to keep this episode going a little longer. Okay, look, what's the problem? 
you're in my way is what the problem is. Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's go find touch. <laughs> Surprise you didn't attack me. This guy, not much, just see some slick little greasy haired European with clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me, this the place. <clears throat> You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. What? Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. And double barrel shotguns, the whole shebang all the way through. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why? Did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone, and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Mars. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so, uh, can my friend. Have his son. 
Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course, I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linden, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. So, we gotta go catch some grave robbers. Let's go, girl. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. So let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. Or they'll just get, or Dutch will end up getting uh, turned in and... Well, you know, if you didn't... Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. I personally think this guy is going to, uh, you know, hold Dutch Ransom himself because he knows the name. This way. And wants the money. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Or we're being set up. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. I saw somebody run. I just don't know where they ran off to. Sorry, sir. I had a bit 
get to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. That wasn't it. She ran this way. We haven't been over here yet. I don't see anything over here. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but we won't care once we get the ball. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. Came from somewhere over here, right? Didn't cut. I hear something in there. Beat him up. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go and I'll have to a drink. You alright? I'm fine. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just put your head down. Stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Search the grave robber's stash. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, Ross here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it.
come on. Left. Come on, keep going. Of course, they're blocking the entrance. Return to Bronte's Manor. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. Collect our set of shields. You all right? You best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, let's see where we're at once we got Jack. Let's see. I doubt we're gonna get Jack back. It's gonna take right. more than. Let's get this done. your time Jack. where's your host Pam. like i said you <laughs> took your time ah. i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend thank you mr bronte you all for right? everything yeah i'm fine come on you know arthur mr bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house <laughs> and us just simple country boys Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! Alright. Alright, let's get this boy back to his mother. Jack rides better than you. I'm honestly surprised we actually got Jack back. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well... The man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party of 
invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh... Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Ooh, we actually got some money out of that. Uh, and with that, that will be episode number 35, but definitely a little longer than I was thinking it was going to be, but we're going to have a party. Party with Jack back. Ooh, excuse me. We're going to sit down as we, uh, as this finishes, but... Like I said, with that, this will be the end of episode number 35. I would like to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that subscription button. The subscription button is what drives the channel here on YouTube. If you don't want to do that, leave a like. Leave a comment. Inappropriate comments will be deleted, flagged, and reported. Um... I'm listening to the music, so it's throwing me off. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'm glad Jack's back. And with that being said, as always, game on!